You know what, Rita? When I'm older, I want to have at least two children. A little cow like me and a bull like my daddy. Wait, wait. I think I'm going to have two little cows and one bull. I like girls better. But I'm sure it's better if two girls play with two boys. That's if I have two cows and two bulls. Well, I don't want to have any kids. I can't stand them. They spend all day crying and eating. And then, after eating so much, they don't stop. Oh, well, you know. Huh? Know what? You know, Moo Moo, what babies do all day is sleep, eat, and... <clears throat> I don't understand you, Rita. What's the matter? Do you have a sore throat or something? Let's see, Moo Moo, what you do every day. Well, every day I wake up and I brush my teeth. Yeah, and then you? Well, then I eat a good breakfast. And then you? Well, and then I go play with you. Yeah, and then you? Well, then I eat again. But, Moo Moo, don't you go to the bathroom? Yes, of course, every day. Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you, that all day long children are... Oh? <clears throat> doing that. Doing what? Oh, never mind, Moo Moo. I'm going for a walk. Yeah, Rita, I'm sure you're going to... <clears throat> do that, right? Moo Moo! I was just joking. Wait up, I'll go with you. What are you looking at, Rita? Look at that strange looking thing. What's so strange about it? It's just a rock. That's not a rock, Moo Moo. It's an egg. An egg from what? Well, it could be an egg from a snake or an egg from a dinosaur. Or from a giraffe. Giraffes don't come from eggs, Moo Moo. We're mammals, just like cows are. Oh. So what do we do with this egg? It's been abandoned, right? If you find an egg in some place, you have to leave it alone without touching it and wait for its mother to come and get it. But this one looks like it's been abandoned. That's a good point, Moo Moo. It would be better if we told everyone so we can decide what to do with this egg. Milo! Olga! Talalo! Alfred, come over here quick. I've got something incredible to tell you. Moo Moo and I have found an abandoned egg along the stone path. And do you know what animal it comes from? We don't know, but it's a really big egg. I think I know what animal it comes from. From what, Moo Moo? I'm convinced it's an egg that came from a cow. But cows don't lay eggs. You're mammals, Moo Moo. Yes, that's what everyone in the world believes, but I think I know the magic secret. Mm. The secret of what? It's the big secret of cows like me, but I'll tell you more about it another time. Moo Moo, every day we understand you less. We'd better go and check on that abandoned egg. <laughs> The egg is right over here. It looks like an egg from a small animal. It looks like a dinosaur egg to me. No way. It came from a cow. It looks like an ostrich egg to me, but I'm not sure. Given my vast experience in the field of animal science, I can deduce that this egg is from... It's moving! Now you'll see there's a cow Look, inside! a leg! And another leg! They're so pretty! How adorable! Oh, I love this! Careful! Oh, Look how careful. fast it Don't step on it! Oh, oh. 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 it's, it's so, so pretty. pretty! Mommy! How cute! Mommy. It thinks that you're its mother! What do you mean, Mommy? Oh, that's not true! Oh, I'm not your Mommy! Go now, go home! Mommy! Mommy! <laughs> Don't follow me because I am not your mommy. <laughs> Get away, you bug. I'm sure your mommy will be here soon. Well, back to the ground. This isn't my job. Don't look at me like that. I said don't look at me like that. <laughs> oh, oh. 
adorable. <laughs> you are so cute. Oh, what's the matter? You want a kiss? Come with mommy, come with mommy. I'm going to call you Turda. I like turtles. Give me a kiss. We have a new member of the family. Yay! Yay! Rita. What an ugly looking cow, right? When I was little, was I that ugly? Moo Moo, it's not a cow, it's a turtle. I thought there was something strange. Although if you look closely, it does look like a cow. <sighs> when I grow up, I've decided I want to be a very famous cook and prepare the best dishes in the world. But Rita, the last time you cooked a simple fried egg, you almost burned the whole kitchen. Ah! Oh. Ha <laughs> ha! What does that have to do with knowing how to cook? The thing with the fried egg was an accident, nothing more. Anyway, I've also decided that to be the best cook in the world, I'll go to the best culinary school in the country. Whatever you say, Rita. While you become the best chef in the world, I'm going to become a soprano. A what? A soprano is... A person who sings opera. But, Momo, you don't even know what opera is. Who says I don't? Now I'll show you how well I can sing. <clears throat> oh, sole mio. Oh, sole mio. <gasps> what was that horrendous noise? It sounded like a cry for help. Moo Moo, I must confess something to you. At first I thought you were awful, but after a while when I could no longer hear anything, it sounded really nice. You have a bright future in singing. Thank you, Rita. I know as a singer I'll become a superstar. Moo Moo. <laughs> Rita, did you hear that dreadful noise? I didn't hear anything. And you, Rita, did you hear something? Rita? Can't you hear me? Did you hear that noise? Moo Moo, what's wrong with Rita? I don't know. Rita, can you hear me? Hey there, Olga, how's it going? Why are you talking so low? I can't hear you, you'll have to speak a little louder. It looks like Rita has gone a little deaf. Could it be from that noise we heard? Well, I didn't hear a thing. I was singing opera with Rita, and I didn't hear a sound. What's that? Opera? Were you the one who was making that noise? What do you mean a noise? I was singing a song in E minor, very sharp. Mumu, please don't sing again in front of me. I'm begging you. I see you don't appreciate my talent. I'm going to rehearse far away from here. Olga, when I grow up, I'm going to be a fantastic cook. Very good, Rita. But you don't have to shout, I'm not deaf. Hi, friends. What you doing? Well, Moo Moo and I were deciding on our future careers. I'm going to be a chef, and Moo Moo's going to be an opera singer. And you, Milo? What do you want to be when you grow up? Well, I've always wanted to be a doctor. I'll travel the world taking care of people who are sick. Well, you can start with Rita, oh? who has gone deaf thanks to Moo Moo's <laughs> vocal cords. Now I hear just fine, now that Moo Moo is singing somewhere else. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be a detective. I like to investigate everything that goes on in the valley. Detective? Hmm, what a great idea. You can investigate why Moo Moo sings so badly, right? <laughs> I don't think there's any solving that crime. <laughs> I don't understand why they don't like my sweet voice. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. I'm going to rehearse a lot, and this afternoon I'm going to give them a concert that they'll never forget. Pew, 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 pew. 
Talala, you gotta slow down. I can't understand you. A concert? Mumu? Tonight? Oh, that tonight Mumu wants to sing a concert of opera. But that's awful. I couldn't take it, not even for a minute. It's no big deal. She's not that bad. And after a few seconds, we'll become deaf anyway. There's gotta be a way for us to get out of this concert. Hi, friends. What are you all doing? Alfred, you've gotta help us. Mumu has decided that she wants to become an opera singer. And tonight she wants to give a concert for all of us. But the poor thing does it so badly that we won't be able to take it. Well, this dilemma appears to have a simple solution. We'll cover Boo-Boo's mouth so she can't sing. Alfred, how are we going to cover her mouth? Moo's our friend, and if she wants to sing, we have to let her do it. What a great idea, Talalo! That's what we'll do! Hi, Moo. What's up? I've got a surprise that I've prepared for all of you. Ooh! I'm going to perform a concert of opera right now. Oh, how nice! A concert! All right, Moo Moo, I'm sure you'll do a great job. Yeah, a great job. But you'd better not run away or anything. Of course not, Moo Moo. We're your friends, and we'll stay until the end. Are you ready? Oh, sol mio, oh, sol mio. What's that noise? Is it a roar? It sounds like a crying lion. It's not a lion, Moo Moo, it's me. Rita, those are roars of a lion. It's my belly and it hasn't stopped making noises all morning. I think I'm hungry. I'm hungry too, but there are still a few hours to go until we eat. I don't understand why I'm so hungry today. I had a really good breakfast. It's because we've been running around and playing all morning and we worked up an appetite. I'm really hungry. I could eat a big plate of pasta with strawberry marmalade and chocolate chips. We need to quit talking about food or our bellies won't stop making those noises. You know what just occurred to me? I'm going to go and make something to eat right now. What a great idea, Olga. So what are you going to make? It's a surprise. If you wait huh? for me here, I'll make you something really good. All right, but don't take too long. I'm going to make some tuna and cheese sandwiches. The first thing I have to do is prepare the slices of bread. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I think I better make two sandwiches per person. I'll need six more slices. Now I'll make six cheese sandwiches and six tuna. First, I'll add two slices of cheese in each sandwich and then a little bit of mayonnaise. I'll put two really good slices here and two more here and here and here and finally two more here. Now I just need to put the tops on the cheese sandwiches. I'll do the same thing for the tuna sandwiches. First, I'll add the tuna. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And now I just have to cover them. I think everything's ready now. But since they're all so hungry, I should make something really good for dessert. Let me think. I'll make them a really big chocolate cookie. 
I hope Olga comes back soon. What do you think she's making for us? I hope it's something really tasty and delicious. I would love a tuna and cheese sandwich. You're so right, Talalo. It would be awesome if she also made a really big chocolate chip cookie. If she takes much longer, I'm going to die of hunger. I want to eat now. Enough with the noise, Moo Moo. It sounds like a bear growling inside your stomach. I can't take it anymore. I'm going to go see if Olga needs any help. Moo Moo, you'd better not. Olga told us that we should all stay right here. Don't you worry. I'm not going to do anything wrong. I'm just going to help Olga. Don't always think the worst. Hi, Olga. Olga? Where are you? Oh, look at all this food. And it's all ready to eat. What yummy looking sandwiches. Oh. Oh. Nothing would happen if I just eat one, right? I can't. I promised that I'd be good. Well, just one, nothing will happen. They won't even notice. That was so yummy, but I'm still hungry. Nothing would happen if I eat another one. Now I better not eat any more. But I'm still hungry, but... Now there's only 10 left. If I eat another four, everyone would still get one sandwich each. Nothing would happen. The food is ready. You can all come now. Where'd Mumu go? I don't know. She was here with all of you. She just left two minutes ago to go help you. Then she must be there with the food. She's going to eat it all. No! No, no, no! Where's all the food, Moo Moo? <coughs> well, I just... Did you eat all of it? <coughs> You're gonna get it! <laughs> Don't worry, my friends. I made a lot more sandwiches, but I hid them under the table just in case some glutton came around and ate them all. We have food for everybody! Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs>